Howdy guys, it's Luke at Luke's APS and in this video I'm going to show you how to do some water bases. Right guys, this video is all about water bases. Um, I'm going to show you how to get to this, okay? Um, this has been achieved with the uh, water effects that I made myself in the last video. Um, I'm going to take you through how to do really big active water effects like this. This is pretty big, it is a large mo model from Games Workshop. Um, and just big, cheap, easy splashes and just making water effects as easy as possible um, and that's the whole point of this video guys just to show you how simple and easy it actually is alright guys so let's get on to the water effects video and I'll catch you in a sec right guys so the ingredients that you're gonna need for this are isopropanol um, you're gonna need the color of choice that you're gonna mix into the water you could also use this clear if you wish um, we will be adding some clear to that later something to mix it in um, and then you're going to need a stirrer, okay, something to mix it up with, and also a nice cold, refreshing drink. Tastes beautiful. Remember, drink responsibly. Right, all you need is one um, drop of paint, literally just one singular drop, okay. Mix that with the isopropanol now, um, because if you were to put the paint in the water effect, it, it's really hard to mix up and you end up mixing it far too much to get it in mixed in. This is the easiest way. And this is the magic ingredient that you all need. Um, this is clear fix. It can be purchased from uh, geekgaming.co.uk below. Um, and yeah, it fits all your water needs. So put a little squirt in a cup. That's what she said. So the isopropanol is the thinner um, for the uh, the clear fix, you see. Okay. So putting that paint in that makes it as you mix it in, it go it goes into the clear fix a lot easier. And as you can see, it starts to change colour almost straight away. And then just have yourself another drink, you know, chilling out, doing whatever you want to do. Not that I promote drinking. Let's get back to work. Right, we're going to put a big splash right near his hand. So what you've got to do first is get a big dollop on your stick. <laughs> Again. Um, <laughs> and then just stick that all over the model. Just get where you want to build it up, just spread it on. Okay? Any sort of th smaller areas, little areas, just tap it down. Get that curl that you want from the water as if it's splashing away from the model. Just tap it down. Uh, and keep playing with it till you, you sort of happy. At this point, we're going to be building it up in layers, guys. So don't try and do it all in one go. Get a couple of minutes to start firming up. And then press a, a shed load more on. As you can see, it's a really thick paste. It does start to thick up rather quickly. Because we've not used that much ISO in there. Um, and you're just manipulating it into the shape that you want. And just... It's one of the things It's quite hard to explain what you're doing. But all, all you're doing is just playing with it till it gets to a point that you're happy okay again number three um <laughs> but just keep pulling that around uh, and then you should be happy with the results uh, in about a couple of minutes it's a very quick process this guy's for really quick effective results and if there's room on your base do remember to do it all the way around if you can um, I mean, as you can see, this, this piece of the clear fix is really starting to go off. Um, it's quite hard to manipulate, but just press it in there, squash it down up against the model, and then you can really simulate the splash going all the way around its fist. Now, what we're doing is we're going to put some bits that are going to be dropping off the, like, the hand as if it's swashed the hand through the water. Um, so you mix it down quite thin and then press it on and let it drop, let it do the work for you. Um, you can always come back to it later and pull it after it's been sat there a while. And so as you touch it and pull it, it will drag um, like almost like icicle forms. I know that doesn't look truly like water as you get like a proper water droplet effect. Um, but I am trying to play with it more to get that proper effect. But 
for miniature use and from afar it does look pretty good for no effort now for getting the rough textures in the water it's starting to go off so just start tapping this uh, with the stick and what you'll get is it will start getting loads of tiny little pulls like little water splashes um so be quite rough with it um because we're going to be going on with the final clear um effects now um well after scraping the base anyway you can tell i don't rehearse can you but all you do is you just get a craft knife and scrape it straight across um, and that takes all the excess off the base edge. Now press out some uh, straight out of the tube onto some sort of palette and then get yourself a small tool like this. Um, I don't know the proper name for it, it's just like a small palette knife or a sculpting tool. And what you're wanting to get is small manageable pieces and then you're attaching it to the uh, the areas of the, the splash uh, that are that's splashing away from it is in the finer areas like this pop it on the end um, and get it on all the areas where you want to do this and as it starts to firm up start pulling it and then you'll get your final uh, tails of the water as if it's splashing away from the model and just keep building that up and applying that on all the areas till you're happy a piece of pie Right, as you can see, we're really building out them splashed, splashed areas now. Um, carry on with this until you're completely happy. Okay, guys? Um, you can keep doing this as crazy or as big as you want. It's entirely up to you. Um, now, when I got to a point with this, I, was like, I really like the way this is looking. The brown maybe wasn't the best choice of colours because it makes it, it's not transparent enough, but it is supposed to be quite a swampy surface. Um, so what I, what I thought of doing, if it, while it's like that, I'll add a few more bits and then I'll, I'll add a bit of white water. Uh, well, murky white water, I'll use an ivory. To be honest, I liked it better like this, going clear, okay? If you want to paint it, it's a matter of like dry stippling. Get some paint on your brush, stab it out till it's... Um, till it's dry on the brush and then just apply it in stippling motion so you don't go over the top it looks kind of good that way but I, I much preferred it before adding the white, white paint but I'm sure that's down to what colours I'd use to start with and everything else best thing about this is I'm trialling it it's not like an actual model it's for my little brother it's just for um, for Dungeons and Dragons anyway but it shows what's possible. Imagine if that were clear blue water for Deepkin models, for example. Um, you could do some really nice, like, vibrant fantasy greeny blue water with massive splashes coming away from them and really go over the top and make it look really nice. This is just an example of the possibilities, so imagine that if you just did it completely clear, that would look very cool as well if you wanted a very clean lake or something. It's all possible. I hope you've liked this video, guys. And yeah, I'll see you again soon for the next video. So guys, I hope you like the video. If you do and you want to support the channel and everything else, here's the product. Um, you can purchase that below uh, in the links. Um, the, the money from that helps, you know, pay for and keeping the, all this on and everything else um but yeah if you're liking these videos guys really don't forget to subscribe please hit that red button if you want to get a notification when i'm uploading these videos click the little bell it works sometimes and uh yeah don't forget to subscribe to pewdiepie remember if you do subscribe it's how you get your citizenship all right guys catch you again for the next video